This is Mr. Smith, and in this OpenShot tutorial, I'm going to show how to layer clips and images. Now, to start off, I have a collection of media that I intend to use. I have the red monster that I had in my previous tutorial for making animations. I have the outputted animation from that with a green background. I also have a skyline that I made in Inkscape with a night sky that I also made in Inkscape. And I have some fire that I got from pexels.com. I will have a citation for that at the end, as well as a citation again for that red monster because I'm using it again. So to start off, I'm going to put in my background first. That's going to be this particular nighttime image right here. I'm just going to throw that back there. And that's already set up the way I want it, so I'm not going to adjust anything. But talked about how to mess with properties in the last video. You can go back and watch the animation video if you need a refresher on that. The skyline, I can put in anywhere I want. It's really going to depend on what I want in front of or behind it. So like I could take this red monster and put it here and then we see it behind the buildings but in front of the night sky and that might be useful. Or maybe I want it to be in front of the buildings. I could do that too. And of course, if it's here, then I'm probably going to adjust the X and Y coordinates to move this down. I've already done all of that with my chroma keyed image here. So what do you say we mess with that first? And we are going to take this right here, drag it in, and now we have everything covered up with this green background. Well, that is fixable. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Effects. And there's an option here that just says Chroma Key. And we can drag this down right on top of the clip that we want to adjust and let go. And nothing happens because we haven't adjusted Chroma Key yet. So if we're looking at this, the default color that it gives us is black. So it's removing all the black. And if you take a very close look, you can kind of see that the black lines are somewhat replaced with the background image. There's a lot of black in the background, so it doesn't show up as well. But we can double click on this and pick a different color. Now I picked that bright green specifically because it's easy to find in here. Click OK. And now we've got still a little bit of a border going around here. I can try to mess with it to get rid of that, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not going to. And now we have this monster that's rampaging through the city just fine. And if I drag this clip down below the city, I can in fact have it moving in the background. Now, something else that I can do, what do you say I set the city on fire? We're going to use this fire clip that I got and it's a bit longer than I need, but that's okay. I can trim this off. We've talked about how to do that before with the trimming tool here. There we go, we'll get rid of that excess. And we are going to go to Effects, and we can do Chroma Key again and drag this over. And that looks horrible. That really looks bad, to be honest. Uh, let's see if we can adjust these properties a little bit. Let's turn up the fuzz. Basically, fuzz is the tolerance it has for things that aren't quite the right color. Uh, that looks better, but better doesn't mean good. We're going to try adjusting the location Y. Let's pull this down a little bit. Oh, if we pull it down, we've still got that issue of the fires going all the way up to the edge of the frame, and that's a hard edge, so that doesn't look quite right. What if we adjusted our scale? We've got scale X and scale Y here. We can increase those or shrink them down. What do you say we change that to two? There we go. Now that also looks bad, but that's okay because we can also adjust the alpha. Alpha channel is basically translucency. So we could have this fire be here and we can see through it. Matter of fact, let's get rid of that chroma key altogether. Right click on that properties, remove effect. There we go. So we could have that going like that. We could reverse these. We could have the monster hanging out in the foreground while the fire rampages in the background.
and we can adjust these as we need. Now, when I made that skyline in Inkscape, I made a point of having this area here not have any information so that it could be transparent. You could also make various titles like this. If none of the titles that exist in OpenShot meet your needs, then you could make a title somewhere else and import it in. And if there's an area that's transparent, it'll show right through, but that is going to be a tutorial for another video. If you have any questions on how to layer media in OpenShot, feel free to ask.